Thanks for dropping in. Recently, I've been experimenting with multi-material printing. That's using different types of plastic at the same time. For example, you can print a model in PLA while supporting it with PETG. Since these two polymers won't fuse together, your supports will be easier to remove and your bottom surfaces will look cleaner. But what really interests me is combining rigid plastics with flexible ones. And that's where today's model comes in. This is a pop fidget, perpetually poppable bubble wrap. The outer case and buttons are rigid PLA, but inside you'll find a flexible TPU gasket. The holes in this part flex just enough to allow the button to snap between positions. This is the simplest fidget I've ever created. It requires no supports, no hardware, and no glue. Even better, the only assembly is adding the buttons, which just press into place. Unfortunately, most printers don't support printing with multiple materials at once. Not yet, anyway. So what about those printers? No worries, this case can be easily assembled mid-print on any standard 3D printer. Just pause the print right before the case begins to close up and insert a pre-printed TPU gasket. Once you resume the print, the next layer will cleanly bridge over the TPU and lock it into place. How you add a pause to your print will depend on your slicing software. In Prusa Slicer, you just drag the layer slider down until you reach this spot where the case starts to bridge. Now right click on the plus button and select Add Pause Print, which is the G-code command 601. You can even type a custom message here that'll display on the printer's screen when it pauses. I have a few extra printing tips to help you get a good final result. First, print the TPU gasket with at least five perimeter shells. This will make the gasket solid and give it a more uniform flex. If you're manually inserting TPU gaskets, make sure they're pressed all the way in a loose gasket could cause your print to fail. If you're using a multi-material printer, turn on the interface shell setting. This will create a solid surface for the TPU gasket to sit on. This fidget comes in a range of sizes. 1x2, 2x2, 1x3, 3x3, 4x4, 5x5, and this huge 8x8 fidget. Clearly, I'm missing some options. So I'm also sharing a template file for creating whatever size fidget you want. The buttons are available in three styles. The default is round on top and flat on the bottom. Or if you prefer, it's available with two flat ends or two round ends. That last option needs to be printed on its side though to keep it from falling over. I often design fidgets as an excuse to try out new mechanism ideas. And this is no exception. There's a pretty good chance you'll see this TPU gasket idea pop up in some future designs maybe as a way to connect multiple 3D printed parts together. In fact, this has inspired me to revisit my old Braille cell project. I'll have more to share on that in about a month. But for now, happy printing and thanks for stopping by. Thanks for sticking around till the end. Since you did, I'll let you in on some upcoming plans. I'm printing a ton of these fidgets to pass out for free at the Rocky Mountain RepRap Festival. That's on April 20th and 21st in Loveland, Colorado. All of my filament scraps are finally going to use as colorful buttons, so you'll have plenty of options to choose from when customizing your own fidget souvenir. But it's first come, first serve, so I wouldn't wait too long to track me down. Look for the table with the giant 3D printed snowman in piles of puzzle boxes. I hope to see you there. <laughs>